Hello everyone, this is Pete and Sean with Golly Family Discipleship. We're continuing our study on 1 Corinthians chapter 10, and we're going to read verses 14 through 17 real quick. Therefore, my dear friends, flee from idolatry. I speak to sensible people. Judge yourselves what I say. Is not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks a participation in the blood of Christ? And is not the bread which we break a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all share in the one loaf. So here the Apostle Paul is speaking to individuals about separating themselves from uh, the world, and he, he uses an analogy that refers back to Holy Communion. And uh, the thing that you need to know about communion is, of course, it's a partaking of the, the wine or the juice, which is symbolic of Christ's blood, and the, the bread, which is symbolic of his body that was broken for us. But the thing he brings it back together is that we, we can't be divided. We have to be united. We have to be unified. And he said that communion is something that brings us together. And as believers, we have to stand strong in what we believe and uh, live it together. The scripture tells us that we remember, that we do this in remembrance of Christ's sacrifice until he comes. Uh, we need to be reminded sometimes of the sacrifice that Christ made um, because we can take advantage of the mercy and the grace of God. Uh, <clears throat> but we need to be unified in um, what we, uh, what our goals are, mm -hmm. um, how we worship God, how we love one another. Um, we need to be unified in, in the body, uh, working together, uh, for the common goal, which is to spread the gospel and to love people like Jesus loves. One of the things that every communion service I've ever been to, there's a soul-searching moment where the, whoever's leading the communion service asks you to, hey, search your heart. Uh, is, there, is there something that you need forgiven of? Is there someone that you might have an offense against that you need to ask for forgiveness? Or someone's done something towards you that you need to forgive them? Right. And, and you do that, and you search your heart before you take communion, and you try to resolve those things. And what that is, is a strengthening of the body because it offers forgiveness not only for ourselves, but for those who are around us. And if you truly take it seriously and you truly seek your heart and you give God those things and turn them over to him, then there's a strengthening of the body, a unification that brings us back together and restores what was broken. It's us loving one another in grace, uh, giving grace where grace is needed as we uh, grow together. Not everyone is on the same level of maturity in Christ. Um, so, uh, without a doubt, those that are younger will tend to make more mistakes and maybe need more mercy and grace. And those that are older need to be more patient sometimes and remember what it was like um, to be first saved and to have those struggles uh, that you really need um, others to help you overcome. Right. We have a tendency to step on each other's toes. Yeah. And it's not personal, but whenever you're close to people... Uh, like in a relationship like a husband and wife, mm -hmm. you get on each other's nerves. Or if you've got a roommate yeah. or a brother or sister uh, that you raised with, yeah. those things happen. Well, the body of the Christ is the same way. We're one body. We're supposed to be close. We're supposed to be together. We're supposed to be like a family. And sometimes believers get on other people's nerves or we make mistakes. We say things we shouldn't say. But the key is is that we, we always seek to restore the body of Christ. We fix what we broke. Right. We qualify for the same healing. We qualify for the same salvation, the same eternal life. Same forgiveness. The same forgiveness, the same grace. We qualify for the same. Uh, we are not uh, separate. It's not one is going to receive grace and the other not. No, that's not what it is. Christ came for all, that all would be saved. Um, so we need to make sure that we live in unity with one right. another, and that it's uh, communion, uh, koinonia, it's common union of the blood, knowing that we are, um, we are together in this thing, uh, wanting to make sure that each one of us makes it. Uh, to that eternal reward. And we're not divided by things such as denominations or distance or anything because we are one body. Right. Uh, we may be in different countries, we may be in different nations, but if we serve Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we're one. That's right. We are together. We're part of that same body. Absolutely. So uh, we just want to encourage you to encounter God, exalt God, edify yourself, and engage the world. Live intentionally for Christ and let others know just how good God is to you. Amen. Um, so until next time, God bless you. God bless you.